arguments. Srimati Dorai Rajan argued that the denial of admission into the educational institution maintained by the state on the grounds of caste violated her fundamental rights under Article 15, Clause 1 and Article 29, Clause 2 of the Constitution. Article 15, Clause 1 prohibits discrimination on grounds only of religion, race, caste, sex, place of birth or any of them. The state of Madras contended that the provisions of these articles have to be read along with other articles in the constitution. The state argued that Article 46 charges the state with prom promoting with special care the educational and economic interests of the weaker sections of the people and in particular of the scheduled castes and the scheduled tribes and with protecting them from social injustice and all forms of exploitation. The state of Madras further argued that Article 46 under Part 4 of the Constitution, though not enforceable by any court of law, is fundamental for the governance of the country. Article 37 puts an obligation on the state to apply those principles in making laws. The state is entitled to maintain the communal geo, fixing proportionate seats for different communities, and the order is valid in law and not in violation of the Constitution. Thus, if any person is unable to get admission into the educational institutions because of the communal geo, there is no infringement of their fundamental rights. The judgment. The Supreme Court held that the communal geo constituted a violation of the fundamental right guaranteed to the citizens of India by Article 29, Clause 2 of the Constitution and was therefore void under Article 13. Supreme Court held that the Clause 2 under Article 29 guarantees the fundamental right of an individual citizen. The right to get admission into any educational institution of the kind mentioned in Clause 2 is a right which an individual citizen has as a citizen as, and not as a member of com any community or class of citizens. This right is not to be denied to the citizens on the grounds only of religion, race, caste, language, or any of them. The Supreme Court further held that the directive principles of state policy laid down in Part 4 of the Constitution cannot in any way override or abridge the fundamental rights guaranteed by Part 3. On the other hand, they have to conform to and run as subsidiary to the fundamental rights laid down in Part 3. The Supreme Court said that the directive principles of state policy which by Article 37 are expressly made unenforceable by a court, cannot override the provisions found in Part 3, which, notwithstanding other provisions, are expressly made enforceable by appropriate writs, orders, or directions under Article 32. Thus, the court held that the classification in the communal geo proceeds on the basis of religion, race, and caste. The classification made in the communal geo is opposed to the constitution and constitutes a clear violation of the fundamental rights guaranteed to the citizens under Article 29, Clause 2. The communal geo being inconsistent with the provisions of Article 29, Clause 2 in Part 3 of the constitution is void under Article 13. Thus, it upheld the judgment of the High Court of Madras. Impact Champakam Dore Rajan case along with Ramesh Thapa case, necessitated constitutional amendments. The First Amendment to the Indian Constitution undid the effect of the two cases.